Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another NASCAR Diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Kyle Larson 2022 HendrickCars.com Auto Club Race Win 124 Scale RCCA Member Exclusive Liquid Color Elite. Alright, before we get to the Diecast itself, let's go ahead and take a quick look at everything it comes with. Up first, we do have your NASCAR Cup Series Race Win sticker. It's always nice that they include these with the Race Win Diecast. We get your Elite Certificate of Authenticity, so feel free to pause the video of this. Down here, we do have an area where we can write down the what production number we got of the total produced. We also get your Race Win Stat Card, so feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read that. There's the front. And here is the back of the Stat Card. And of course, we do get your standard 2022 Elite 124 scale box with the added race win uh, slip sleeve on it. We'll just go over the slip sleeve here. We have the Lionel Racing logo, race winner, next gen 2022 season, NASCAR Cup Series logo, race winner on the top, race version. Of course, Lionel Racing got next gen 2022 season, NASCAR Cup Series. Production sticker on this end it says Kyle Larson, number five, hindercars.com, auto club win. 2022 Camaro Z01 Elite Liquid Color, one of 54 produced. This side is the same. Relevant legal information is on the bottom. Let's go and get into the die cast now. As I mentioned, this is an RCCA member exclusive liquid color finish, which the blue is the dropout color, which if you're not familiar with liquid color, it is basically a finish that makes this color blue look like it's wet. With the shine to it, I mean, it looks absolutely stunning in liquid color. I'm really glad the dropout color was blue because sometimes they do the white and liquid color just doesn't really work as white. So yeah, we'll start off here on the front window. We have the Chevy logo with Larson. In between that, we have the cooling inlet. We do have a lot of blue and green uh, confetti throughout the car. Up here on the hood, we have HendrickCars.com. And... On either side of the simulated hood scoop, we have Z01. We also have simulated cooling vents on the hood with silver painted details for your hood pins. Don't know how well it's picking up, but we do have speckling of tire rubber and everything throughout the hood, as well as here on the front bumper. Got the number 5 and Hendrick Motorsports below the headlights with the Chevy Bowtie front and center of the grille. We have Z01, got some grille tape or details right there, and even a simulated front TV camera right down there. We do as well have the carbon fiber notched out front splitter with day glow yellow accents on both ends of it. Got a little bit of confetti down here as well. Got Sunoco down here right by the splitter with more uh, tire rubber as you can see right there on the white and red parts of the nose. Green and blue uh, confetti continue up here on the fender and hood. Goodyear in white. Like I said, hopefully the details of the uh, rubber speckling and race version details show up on camera. We do have the details of the low profile next gen Goodyear Eagles. Got brake detail behind the single lug wheel, which is like a uh, gunmetal silver detail here. All the race markings on the tires look nice. This is an Elite, so it has working steering. Unfortunately, it's not connected to the actual steering wheel. We do have the NASCAR Cup Series logo right there with the number 5 on the door. Right down here above my finger is the exhaust. Got more confetti down by the rocker box. Got the arrow pointing where the jack stop is. And right here, once again above my finger, is the cooling vents for the exhaust here on the rocker box. Here on the door we do have more speckling of tire rubber. HendrickCars.com going down the side. There's the left rear tire. Hiring technicians and the get bioethanol ring on the quarter panel. You can see some speckling and scuffs and everything here on the side. Cloth window net. We do have Ekron's Exalta Cincinnati Mac Tools Freightliner and Siemens on the B post. Valvoline there on the C post. More confetti going down the quarter window and quarter panel here. Up here on the roof rail we have KL. Got the casted in escape hatch on the roof with the front and rear facing camera. I do like that the rear camera is in body color. The body color is closer to what the standard finish would be. More confetti up on the roof. 
Got two little plug-in points for the included antennas, which I never put on because they're fragile and I'll lose them. But once again, if you look on like the number five there, we do have some tie rubber. It does have functioning roof flaps. Got high techs on the roof sponsor, Larson here on the rear window. More confetti going down the C post. This is serial number one of 54. It's really, this is the first time I've ever had the very first car in production. The confetti continues down to on the rear window and here onto the deck lid. It says hindercars.com. We do have silver painted details for the pin, deck lid pins. Being elite, this does have an opening deck lid too, and you can see the silver hinges. Go ahead and open that up. Inside, you can see all the fuel cell detail. Hopefully, you can, anyways. The next gen car has a really small deck lid trunk area. Back here on the rear bumper TV panel, we have Chevrolet, the TV camera, of course, Valvoline and number five, right below the Camaro taillights. Hendrickcars.com, Z01, and Camaro. We do have the rear diffuser right here sticking out below the rear bumper. Now this is an Elite as I mentioned, so it does have a removable underwing, but I will not remove it. If you want to see the detail under here, check out my review of the Liquid Color 2022 Martin Truex Jr. Bass Pro Shop Elite here on the channel. As I mentioned, here's serial number 001, working steering, got all the details of the rear diffuser back here. Moving on to the right side of the car, got this is probably the most damage right here. I think this is probably where he made contact with Chase Elliott, putting him into the wall near the end of the race. So this is probably the most race damage on this car. There you go. It's the right rear tire detail. Looks fantastic. More speckling of tire rubber and everything below hindercars.com and in front of the uh, right rear. Of course, exhaust detail and cooling vents got all the Zeus fasteners on the rocker box down here in silver as well. Interior, you got the red fire extinguishers towards the front end of the car. Here on the right side window, we do have the cable simulated, anyways, in detail for the emergency workers, the AMR safety team to remove that window if they need to. Digital dash detail, full containment carbon fiber seat. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the hood open on this die cast if not I'll have to pause the video and get it to open up that's what we'll do I'll be right back going to get the hood open show you the engine detail be right back all right got the hood open here is the engine detail you know you can't really see too much in there because of how covered up everything is but you got the air cleaner right there in silver silver valve covers and everything got the simulated vents or induction points here for the simulated vents on the hood that would send cold air through there into the this part here that would cool the radiator and the overall motor as I mentioned working steering inside we have Chevrolet hindercars.com Wix filters and Valvoline for all the sponsors so that is your engine detail another feature of this being elite we do have functioning rear suspension as well as front suspension but it is a lot stiffer just like it would be on a real car so yeah overall it's a great release liquid color is probably one of my favorite special finishes that lionel offers so yeah that was my review of the kyle larson 2022 hendrickcars.com auto club race win 124 scale rcca member exclusive liquid color elite if you enjoyed this review Give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAstrain69. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.